Okay, well, I stuck you in the barracks so you can start there. There's an exit to the north, south, east, and west. Um, the stadium is to the south. I think the door to the north is the one you guys have open, though. Uh, just before we go, everyone's good on strength damage, right? Yep. Yep. All right, let's head out. We'll just go back to where we were. I think he's wanting us to go down there because we're going to run into something. Through the south door? North door? I thought we closed all the doors. The north one's closed, but it's still unlocked. Uh oh. I don't think you guys did anything with the perimeter doors. I know you fixed the door to the actual barracks, but not to the grounds. I think it was just an oversight. Like, obviously, you can close and lock whatever door you want to close and lock. Yeah, you gotta go up and lock the north door. Why are you locking it? We're trying to leave. Oh. Oh, I thought we were leaving out another door. You can do whichever thing you want to do. I just wanted to uh, know what your plan was. Go back to where we were. I don't even know if I uh, opened that door. Looks like all the doors are currently locked. <laughs> okay, as you guys head around, you can give me a perception check. Here comes the dragon to fight us back. Well, that's neat. If you click on the dice roller, like the icon for the dice, dice roller, uh, it expands and contracts, like expands and dismisses it instead of closing it. That's kind of neat. Does not appear the turn order does the same thing, though. Oh, look at that.
I really hate it when I don't put the length of the line. I thought I did that last time. Line of acid. How long is the line? Okay, so first thing we'll do is breath weapon save, DC 18. Oh, that's a reflux, right? Yes. <clears throat> 22 points, save for half. Uh, with a is with evasion, it's take half or save for take half, save for zero, or is it take full if you fail the check still? Yeah, improved evasion is save save for zero. They're both save for zero, but uh, the improved one is nothing, and the other one is uh, save or suck. Okay, that's very very unfortunate. Why is it very unfortunate? Because I failed. <laughs> Ah, it's only 22 points of damage. It's only like half your hit points in the first round. And then everyone can roll their Frightful Presence, DC 16. Or run like little bitches to be picked off individually. Well, this is not good. Uh, I got a plus two for being a half queen. I'll lock Joe's up to uh, 16. Oh, goody. Joe gets to solo the dragon again. <clears throat> I made mine. Yeah, that's true. But you're pretty useless. <laughs> and we're and we're still waiting for Kwai. Kwai to do what? Oh, he hasn't rolled a save. What's the save need? What do I need to be? Sixteen. Three higher than that. Um, is this dragon considered evil? Evil. What was that? What does e why does evil matter? Uh never mind. I get a plus one on saving throws, so I'll look that up to get that higher. That you should get me it is if I look it up. You don't have your plus one in your save? No. Fair enough. I need to add it to the save, but I haven't I've been forgetting about it for a while. A four and a seven. That's pretty sad. Okay. Uh, then it's initiative. How much damage was done with the breath weapon after that? 22. Oh, you rolled the wrong <laughs> mission. Okay, well, he will take the opportunity to fly down and attack Astro. Oh, 
Oh, God. Okay, I assume 20 is it on your Astro? Especially when you're flat-footed? So he just has to not roll one, two, three. Yes, to hit you. You have an incredibly low AC. I think 20 will hit all of us. 20 would hit all of you. <coughs> Dragons rarely have any issue hitting. Uh, nine and eight for damage, and then he will fly off. <coughs> Damn, what hit the dragon already? What was that? Dragon's already down 10 hit points. Oh, I probably just put the wrong number in. It's one thirty seven, not one twenty seven. I like one twenty seven better. That's fair. It's your go. Um I'm going to uh around the corner and I'm gonna move double move there and hide no I can't because that's the standard I'm just gonna or was I here is there like foliage around here that I can hide in or is it flat and swampy it's pretty flat and swampy like it's a big lake bed so there's not really much in the way of uh, undergrowth Okay, well, I'll just, like, move away from the group and ready my bow to shoot at him when he comes back near us. <laughs> Within 60 feet, anyways. Okay. Quiet, you're up. All right. Uh, we, need to, we need to find shelter. That door is blocked, right? No. We locked it. I think we just use it to go in and out of so we don't lock it. <laughs> Might be good for us to go back inside for now. I don't know. Which which direction? It? Okay, not over there. I'm going to go over here for now. Okay, Astro, your turn. Um, I'll stay stay right here and ready to spell. I don't think you can ready a spell when you uh, took a whole bunch of damage unless you make your spellcraft check. Although I guess it's not that hard of a check. But it is two checks. Okay, no problem there. Then we're back to initiative. That's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> you rolled really low and I rolled really high. Yeah, I actually might have something that can deal with this. Yeah, I so I assumed Astro had something, so. 
I, yeah, my domain gives me gust of wind, and this guy's only a medium sized creature. <laughs> that is true. Sorry, I was just reading the rules on uh, Wingover. So he'll wing over and come right back at Astro Fell. Finish him off. Oh, wow. So I don't get my spell, though? Oh yeah, you had you had a ready to action, so yeah, you do get your spell. What's the range on your spell? Doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? Because I rolled a thirteen for my touch attack. Well, 13 is his touch AC. Oh. Thirty-five feet. Okay. So entangling ectoplasm. Okay. Does that have any resistance outside of the attack? Nope. Okay. Well, then he will mingle you. A bite for five points. Claw for nine points. And second claw for seven points. That's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, then it's your go, Kwai. How high up in the air is he? Uh, he's at ground level with uh, Astrofell. He's like five or six feet off the ground. This would be considered a straight line? Uh, yes. For charging purposes? No, because you have to go to the closest square for charging and Joe's in it. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just move there. Okay. That'll be my turn, though, because it's a double move. Astro, what are you doing? Uh, limping away. Did you get a net on him? Uh, entangling ectoplasm. Oh, he can't fly though, can he? Yeah, he can fly. He can he fly. Just moves at half. <clears throat> How long does that last for? Five rounds. Oh yeah, I remember my uh, I had a psy crystal. He used that ability on all the time. Yeah, you actually used it on a dragon in the uh, Planewalkers game. Oh, nice checks. What are you doing? Uh, faith 2 on myself. Okay. Are you doing anything else? I cast another spell. I have to do another round of checks, don't I? Yep. Yeah, I'm not doing anything else. Okay, then we're on to small bro. Which way? In which direction is he traveling? He is flying to the east. Okay. Um.
I can't get anywhere to stop him with a gust of wind, uh, which is unfortunate. So why, why did you take gust of gust of wind in memory today? It, it's my it's my domain spell. Oh, okay. I was gonna say that's a terrible spell. Um, no, my um storm. I chose that I repicked from illusion domain to the storm domain because it gives me access to a ton of druid spells later on. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna rapid fire rapid shot him, I guess. I'll luck that to hit by two. He has minus four to his dexterity right now. Oh, okay. Never mind. I won't luck anything. <clears throat> For three points. That still hits because he has piercing, so. Yep. Well, that's my turn. Okay, then... Oh, that's the end of the round. So then we're back to initiative. You said his dexterity is penalized by four points? Uh, entangled, they take uh, minus four penalty to dexterity, minus two to attack rolls. Okay. Wow. Don't worry, you still beat me. <clears throat> you roll quite and somehow I beat everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Your math skills have not improved. Oh, no. Uh, my math skills will never improve. I love how the pizza I ordered went from 15-minute delivery to another 45 minutes. Okay, so that's one round of Entangle. Uh, Kwai, you're up. <coughs> uh, I didn't get an attack as he moved away. Yep. I do or don't? You do not. Okay, I will go ahead and heal myself. How, how was that? Oh, yeah, because he's entangled. He can't take a five foot, can he? Oh, no, no he can't. At half speed. Yeah, but half speed doesn't affect whether or not you can uh, take a five foot. It's only if it creates difficult terrain. The actual entangle spell creates difficult terrain and you're entangled. He's just covered in goo. He's all sticky from Joe's goo. Where'd you cast the spell from, Joe? I had it ready for when he attacked me. <laughs> I got too excited, okay? So your excitement about tomorrow's game is about your character or the game itself? Uh, the game itself, just see how my son does. Oh, is your kid playing tomorrow? Yep. Oh, nice. How old, how old is he? Uh, 14 now. Nice. 
You doing anything else, Squire? <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just going to move back behind the wall again. Okay, small brow, you're up. Um, I don't want to try to get into a position where I can stop him with a gust of wind cause, and force him to turn around mid-flight. Is he turning around right now, or is he still flying straight? He's flying straight. Okay, um, I'm going to move here and prepare a gust of wind for when he gets within 30 feet, 30 feet. <clears throat> or at least, yeah, just get ready to cast it. Okay, uh, what are you doing, Astro? I'm going to heal him. That's it. Thank you. You're up first, Astro. Oh, I forgot. I, I will ready a spell. Okay. And then we're on to Kwai. Not seeing the dragon somewhere I can easily strike it, I step back in. Okay. Small bro. Uh, I'm going to take one step south. And then I'm going to continue waiting here with the gust of wind ready to be cast. Okay, we'll just go back to the top for Astro. Um, not that I can do, but wait. I can wait inside the building. Yes, yes, group together. Am I by myself right now out here waiting for the dragon? That yeah. would be an accurate assessment of the situation. <laughs> Okay, quiet, you're go. Uh, 
I might as well just put a chicken on my head and say, hey, come get me. All right, there we go. Stepped out, looked around, stepped back in. Okay, small bro. Um, you know what? I'm gonna cast flame arrows. Flame arrow on fifty ammunition. And then that's my turn. Okay, that's true. Nothing. Okay, Kwai, you're up. Me again? Yep. Nothing. I can. Small bro. I'm going to sit here and be ready with a gust of wind. Can I do a perception to see if I see him coming? Yep. Um, my pizza's here. Let's spin around outside and grab it. Okay, Astro. Nothing. Okay, Kwai. Hold until the dragon appears again. Okay. What is Jesse doing? Other than leaving his mic open so his dog can pant into it? Back. Here go, Jesse. Uh, still no sign of the dragon. Not unless you can see it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep facing out this way and getting ready to stop it in its tracks. Okay. Astro? Nothing. Oh, never thought a pierogi pizza would be so good. Well, that's unfortunate. It's actually quite predictable. Nineteen, save for half. I'm going to lock that up and save for none. Okay. 
I should have gained some altitude so that I could see over the wall into the barracks, because that would have been pretty handy. Okay, Kwa, you're up. Still waiting on the dragon to make a reappearance. Oh, he has. You hear Smallbro screaming like a little girl. Probably hear Smallbro screaming like a little girl. <clears throat> what are you doing, Gwai? I'm just holding until the dragon gets here. Not, oh, sorry. It is still, it is here. Is it close to the ground? Uh, yep. All right, I'm gonna step out to here and I'm gonna charge. <laughs> and miss completely. You are my hero. Small Brow, you're up. What are you doing? You know, go confirm that, Chris. Oh, you only get one attack this round. Never mind. After two years, uh, Steph has finally decided that he's going to use the easy macros. Are you done your turn? Yeah, you moved up and attacked. Okay. I said it's uh, which... turn. Oh, I didn't hear you. Um, is the dragon moving this way, or is like which direction does it? He's flying going? at you. Okay. Well, he's flying at me. I'm gonna cast a gust of wind directly at his face, which me it says medium creatures are large. Cre medium creatures are unable to move forward against the force of wind. Flying creatures are blown back d6 times five feet. Or fly and blown back. Okay. Does that would that take him out of flight? Kind of knock him out? Nope. <laughs> He's flying on the wind. You're just giving him wind in the direction that pushes him backwards. Oh, okay. So he's like, he's flying against hard winds, is what you're saying. Okay, well, I read that. I thought that was... Read that first part. Medium creatures that only move forward. I didn't read the second part. So, oh, oh well, that's my bad. Kind of knocks him off his course, though. Okay, roll your d6. <clears throat> so, 15 feet. There you go, Kwai, you can make your attack of opportunity. Nope. Oh my god, two wanna, ones in a row? Might want to re-roll that, uh, or <laughs> roll to fix your cash. Okay. Then we're back to initiative.
Small bro, you're first. Okay. Um. He's perfect range. I'm gonna shoot him twice. <clears throat> Missing both times. You go, girl. Astro, you're up. How high up is he? He's about five or six feet off the ground. I summon a large one. Oh, there's a decent amount of hits. I think he only gets one or two hit, two attacks, though, doesn't he? No, he has three. Oh, okay. I thought the large one only got two. It was one of the extra. No, the large one gets three. And I'm, uh, trip attack doesn't work against flying, does it? Yeah, you can't trip someone who's not on the ground. <laughs> okay. Um, then it is his turn. Unfortunately, the construct has reach, right? Yep. Okay, well, he will do a flyby on the construct then. Those are all hits, but I think he has like 10 points of damage reduction, doesn't he? Even though you didn't put it on him. Uh, you got one hit. He's got 27 AC. He's got 22 listed on the token. I'm working on updating him. He's been on the board for like five minutes. I just summoned a level seven. I understand what you did. I just figured you rolled his attack. You were done updating his token. Okay. How much is his DR? Uh, 10 magic. Okay, so the bite is the only one that can affect him, and I missed with the bite. So he will just fly to the set. <laughs> Okay, and then it's Quai's turn. Uh, not seeing him, I'm going to go ahead and just make sure I'm not grouped up. Oh, 
Okay, and then we'll go back to the top for a small bro. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to cast Invisibility on myself. Okay. And then I'm going to move here. Excellent plan. Okay, Astrophel. And right there. Okay, then quiet. Just not seeing the dragon, oh, but I'll move south a little bit. Okay, then we're back to initiative.